This is Scott Bauer with Prosper Trading Academy and your SIBOVAL 411. It's well known that the VIX, which is often nicknamed the fear index, tends to move in the opposite direction to the broader stock market. It, it typically spikes when stocks fall and declines when stocks rise. The VIX index tells us the level of expected volatility of the S&P 500 index for the next 30 days with a 68% confidence level or a one standard deviation move. The VIX index is not expressed as a percentage, and it can be understood as one example if the VIX is 18. This represents an expected annualized change with a 68% probability of 18% in the S&P index in either direction. So with the S&P trading 4770, for example, the projected range over the next year is 3911 to 5629. To calculate the expected move in SPX for one month, you would take the VIX level of 18, divide that by the square root of 12, approximately 3.46. This would imply a move of approximately 5.2% over the next month. To calculate the move for a week, you would divide the VIX by the square root of 52, or 7.21. This would imply a move of about 2.5%. The VIX uses calendar day annualization rather than trading day annualization. So to calculate the daily expected move in the S&P 500 using VIX, we take the VIX and divide that by the square root of 365. So with the VIX at 18, the daily expected move in SPX is about 0.94%. However, the relationship between VIX and SPX is not 100%. In fact, it's got about an 80% correlation. So approximately 20% of the time, the VIX and the S&P 500 index move in the same direction. This is Scott Bauer with Prosper Trading Academy and your SIBOVAL 411.